if you believe it's going to happen and you just have to commit all the way to it. And some people, I think they don't allow for that. They think I'll just go to Hollywood. I'm just make it big and I'll get a job and it's going to work. And then if you don't. Now, one thing is um, we're dealing with the strike or we're coming out of one strike and, yeah. and there's still another strike. Continuing. The actors are still they're still out there mad. Yeah. My um my thought process is mm -hmm. what I've known about Hollywood is that a lot of people go there for the dream. Yeah. And a lot of people also crash and burn yeah. chasing that dream. Yeah. Why do you think so many actors have gone homeless in Hollywood? Um, maybe they didn't realize what the dream really was, what it entails. I mean, I've had a lot of friends of mine that I grew up with and, uh, you know, I've done music my whole career. You know, I got an album coming out on my birthday uh, called Succession. Uh, shout out Stephen Keys Ellis, um, who's the producer of the project. And I've had friends who were aspiring to be entertainers and rappers and whatnot, but they also were like, yeah, but I got to go to work. Yeah. Or I have to, you know, I got I to gotta pay the bills this way and I got to do that. And I'm like, bro, you got to just make a decision. If you commit to this, if you believe it's going to happen, then you just have to commit all the way to it. And some people, I think they don't allow for that. They think, I'm just go to Hollywood. I'm just make it big and I'll get a job and it's going to work. And then if you don't and you don't have another job to back it up and all this and so forth and so on, then... You know what I mean? I was fortunate. I got into business when it wasn't anything that I needed to do other than financially for my family because we were struggling mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. But it was like, if it didn't work out, I can still just stay in school. But it, it, uh, it wound up being a situation that I worked consistently till I was 24. Right. So I didn't have to worry, worry about that. But uh, yeah, just a lack of preparation and knowing what to expect. You know what I mean? Not having anyone to have their back and tell them these things, not having shows and platforms like this that they can watch and go, okay, maybe we shouldn't just pack up everything and move. Maybe we need right. to get a game plan. I always heard that you wait for Hollywood to call you. Hmm. Well, I think you do have to go after it a little bit more than that. Um, you know, in the, in, in the, before the pandemic, it was always about the audition room, you know, mm -hmm. and now you've got more ways to get yourself out there, you know, do a podcast, do a show, make a video, post it out there, social media. Um, and you'll see if you should be successful or not. I mean, you'll, you'll, people that, you know, you go viral, whatever the case is, and you'll know if it's for you. Um, but yeah, man, it's, uh, it's definitely a tough business. Yeah. Last few questions. Yep. Have you ever thought about quitting? I thought about the idea that it never ends. As an entertainer, there's no, and then I retired. You hear like five stories of such and such is going to quit acting. And you're like, why? He's so successful. And da, 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 da. He might be tired. He, <laughs> you know, there's no regular life for him ever or her. Like, it's not like, you know, like Morgan Freeman. You know, you're just going to you go until you go. You mm -hmm. go until it's, you know, until there's no more. So that's why entertainers are a special breed. You know, you're yeah. born.